hey what's up guys uh, as you guys can see here we got some lovely Ohio weather so sadly it's not gonna be a flying video or anything like that this video is gonna be mostly like a quick update to kind of give you guys I haven't posted a video for a little bit uh, it's mo I've been mostly really busy just working on design basically everything in the frames changed a little bit um, the folding mechanism stuff like that I'll show that to you guys here in a little bit um, another thing is just getting the price real low so I've been working with a the distributors and motor manufacturers and stuff like that to get the price real low for you guys. The other thing I really want to talk about real quickly before we jump into the design uh, changes is that we're actually teaming up with the Revolt founder and uh, the Revolt team. If you guys remember, it's an electric paraglider, similar kind of design, four motors, stuff like that. We're actually going to join the two communities into like one uh, big, massive, just open source community. So I'm really, really excited. It should be pretty sweet. Uh, we should be able to build something even cooler. We've been working on setting up a forum. So you guys should be able to post your ideas and suggestions there, uh, along with just see like the builds and the part, parts list and stuff like that. Um, get the files and all that good stuff. So now let's jump into the design. I'll show you guys some of the changes that uh, have changed since the last time you guys seen it. Okay, the first major change is actually in the arm uh, hinge system. Now it's a kind of a couple pieces of aluminum instead of uh, being 3D printed and it uses a latching method instead of a push pin button system. This basically takes up a lot less space. It's a little bit stronger and uh, a little bit lighter weight. Some of you guys might be thinking, uh, what if that actually, that uh, little knob there actually comes undone during flight? It's not a big deal just because the thrust line is this way and the pivot's actually on this side. But just to be extra safe, there actually is a spring providing tension. The little post here locking the knob in place. So when you do want to go ahead and fold your arms up, all you have to do is just kind of pull up on this and rotate it. And that will unlock your arms. So it's super, super easy. You can do it with one hand and you should be able to do it even quicker than the old system. And as far as the legs go, it's actually it's pretty simple. Um, it's the same kind of style as the old system, the kind of like GoPro uh, hinge style. The friction fit, you run a bolt through here, tighten it up a little bit, and it's locked in place. But these are some of the kind of the, some of the reasons why I'm holding off on the kits and uh, releasing the designs right away because I want these to be available in the kits because I think it's just a lot better design than the old system and I want you guys to have like a, a good experience right off the bat. And other than that, the arms have changed a little bit. They're a little bit thicker uh, width-wise uh, along with this being thicker. One other thing that's actually changed too is the legs. Now they both have cutouts, a little bit thicker. Uh, and the actual angle which the legs rest on the ground has changed a little bit just to make sure it's extra secure. is a little front heavy with uh, the harness and the gooseneck bars and stuff like that. But now and uh, rests nice and secure on the ground. So that's basically going to be it for uh, this video. Just it's, it's just a quick update video kind of explaining to you guys where I am in the process. I know you guys definitely want more in-depth videos and I'm, I can definitely do that and we'll be doing that in the future videos. Um, but this one's just a quick update. I kind of show you guys where I am in the design process and stuff like that. A lot of it is just getting these parts cut out at this point, getting all the components and electronics and setting up for a pretty seamless experience so you guys can put your kits together pretty simply and uh, not be a rig job or anything like that. So in the next video, I'm going to talk a little bit more about the electronics and stuff like that, the ESCs and the motors. I'm actually getting some uh, custom motors done up. They're going to be about 20% more efficient, so that should be great. Easier on the ESCs and stuff like that. And that's why I was kind of reluctant to basically post a parts list because the parts are going to change and I don't want people just going out and like buying all the parts I use for test builds and stuff like that. Trying to finalize everything so you guys have a really great uh, seamless experience and maximize the fun and minimize the headaches. I'm really excited about this project. I hope you guys are too. Uh, we're going to be getting the forum and the website uh, updated here. So we should be able to start posting stuff there and you guys should be able to chat and stuff like that. So it should be loads of fun. If you guys want to be extra updated, I guess, you can always drop your email into the website uh, OpenPPG. There's a link down in the description. But we'll just be giving up updates there so uh, other than subscribing to the YouTube channel you can get updates that way too if you like. You guys can always email me too there's a little contact button at the bottom of the website if you have more specific questions and stuff like that uh, I'll be happy to answer them there for you. Uh, thanks again and we'll see you guys in the next one. Alright and uh, you can also use it to blow your car off too.